What is up, guys? What's going on? We are back at it for another podcast. Yes, What's going sir. On, As being a business owner and everything like that, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. This company isn't going to be this company. Uh, look, there's there's a really good principle. It's either you're you're up, you're going up, or you're going mm-hmm. down. You're never going stagnant. No way. You know, um, if if you're going stagnant, there's no such there's no such thing as stagnant. Yeah. Um, you're either going up or you're going down. Stock market doesn't just stand there at yeah. one peak. It consistently every second of the day it goes up and goes down so that's kind of how business works it goes up and it goes down so where are you going right now where are you projected to go are you stagnant no are you going up no then there's only the other 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 the other option which is going down yeah so right now you know in our company okay look we're doing numbers and we're kind of growing but you know to what to what uh cost Hmm. you know we're still doing the same things doing the same xyz every single day I want to grow. I want to hire consistent more people. I want more leads. I want bigger problems to face. <laughs> That's crazy. You as want a challenge, right? Um, I want bigger problems that freaking scare me. I think I'm not scared anymore. I used to be scared yeah. in the beginning when I started my company. You know, oh my god, I have ten employees, and I'm not scared anymore. Yeah. It's not scary. And if it's not scary, that means you're not uh, taking risk and expanding and scaling. Obviously. So I want to be scared when I wake up and be like, dude, I have freaking 30 guys. I need to freaking pay employ uh, salaries to, you know, at the end of the month, you know, and that's that one. I want that scary feeling again because I think I could afford it. And yeah. I want to have it because those moments are the moments that really make me who I am. Yeah. They make me better. They make me more profit. They make me more successful. They make this company more successful. Exactly. And I want this company to go to the freaking moon. Right. Yeah. So I need to take risks. Someone needs to die on a rocket ship for us to go to the moon. Someone needs to take that test drive and I'm willing to take that risk. And I really want to see where we can take this. I really do. So being scared is being, um, being risky and yeah. being, um, you know, taking bigger leaps of faith. And I really want to do that. I really do. I'm not satisfied. Look, I'm starting real estate. Um, I just literally bought a house yesterday night in my bed, by the way, signed the contract virtually. Everything's yeah. good. Clo- we're closing in on the Congratulations. Yeah, cool. But look, yeah. that's the thing about me. Is like, <laughs> I could comfortably afford it. I'm not really tripping. Yeah. So am I really, is that a really good thing for me? Is that I bought a real estate property? Cool. Yeah. But I want to be scared about it. I want to be like, dude, I just freaking spend a lot of money more than I could comfortably afford. That's a risk. Yeah. You know? Obviously, I don't know the real estate game and I want to get into it, but it's my goal is to scale to like maybe 20 properties this year. Okay. And I think that's totally realistic, especially if I'm, you know, trying to scale and buy multi-unit properties and maybe help a couple, uh, get a couple partners on board and really just take it on. Yeah. I love scalability. That's my thing. If there's no scale in a company or an investment opportunity or anything, then I'm not, I don't want it. I really don't. I, want, I don't want to. That's the thing about a job. Yeah. There's no scalability. It takes yeah. years 20 years to be a doctor, to be a surgeon, to scale to the level to of the professionalism next level. Yeah. of where they are, yeah. you know, and I don't want that. I really don't. That's a stagnant job. You have to spend a lot of your time to really just be 1% better. And I think, you know, I love risk. Bro. Yeah, I love obviously. Risk. Uh, uh, just before a minute ago, you mentioned partners. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about them? And, uh, you know, when I, it comes to... When I mean partners, I mean, like, my freaking brother. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't have a lot of partners, but I have only maybe three, four people that I really trust. And yeah. they have money, too. Yeah. And I want to do business with them. I want to offer open, open up opportunities with them. Mm. And really just trying to show people that, you know, look, I'm more than just a person that can make money. I can make other people money, too. Yeah. And that's something that I want to do. I want to leave an impact on people. I want to change someone's life. I want to change a kid's life, a little 18-year-old kid. And take him to freaking where he owns properties at 19 years old, owns a million dollar portfolio. And who's to say I can't do that? Exactly. You know, I literally, his name is Salvador. I literally got this kid off the freaking Instagram account. I paid him $50 a month. He used to manage my Instagram account. Long story short, he, he was working for me on my company, li- making 50 bucks a month. Literally, bro, he was working like four hours, eight hours a day. Literally, I'm not joking. And this guy was just working, working, working. He never asked for any more salary increases. He never asked for nothing. And I slowly just kind of give him more trust. And I'm like, dude, this guy's awesome. He doesn't ask for anything. He's like part, he's for me. He's loyal. He would die for me. And I'm like, bro, let's get him on board. Let's, let's, uh, I think I'm, I think I want to start him a company. Mm-hmm. So I got him on my, on my mentorship program. Um, long story short, he started his own company, scaled it literally because he knew all the systems. He was yeah. earning nothing, but he was uh, learning everything, earning yeah. nothing, but learning everything. And eventually, long story short, you know, he started his own company. You know, he took off with it. 
He's still one guy. He never scaled, though. I, mean, I don't know what he's doing, but he never scaled. But he's just one guy pulling out the strings. And now he's like literally just a little 18 year old guy, you know, really That's killing cool. it. That's cool. And I want to offer him cool opportunities. He has, <laughs> he has like seventy thousand, sixty thousand dollars in his bank account. I'm like, bro, spend it, spend it before the IRS spends it for you. <laughs> so it's, it's so funny. Is he keeping bro. it in the bank still? He's a retarded guy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, bro. He's so scared. He's like, bro, just don't want to keep it. I don't want to spend it. Because like, like, he's never seen money before in his life. It's yeah. a scarcity mindset. But it's not a problem, you know. Everyone has that. Yeah. Um, but he, I told him, bro, throw that money into some real estate. Throw that money into some stocks. Throw that money into, you know, here and there, Ethereum, car, uh, crypto. And he's slowly, you know, uh, you know, kind of uh, spending the money here and there and putting it in other places. So he okay. doesn't get taxed on it. But he's gonna get screwed on taxes. Taxes in California is like forty percent. Uh, you make hundred k, you spend forty. Tell me about it, man. Yeah, it's disgusting. Thank you guys so much for watching. 